So welcome back to our Swift tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use an advanced event and how to create an advanced event in the calendar free Swift. So I've already made a video like this but that was just simple events. So in this one I'm going to be creating an advanced event and the difference is uh, well the thing is I think with a basic one you can only set the name, start date, finish date and something else. But with this you can edit a lot of things, you can add attachments notes, uh, people, things like that. So I'll just call this advanced um, event advanced event um, calendar or something. So the first thing we actually want to do is we want to go to the info.p list and we want to um, add two keys. So first thing we want to add is ns calendar uh, usage description usage dis description and oh wait, I feel like I spelled that wrong uh, because this should actually or maybe it's just um, we have to type it in differently so type it in as privacy and then uh, oh privacy calendar usage description that's one and this allows the app to modify the calendar and the other one we need is called privacy and contacts usage description and this is because uh, in the calendar you can add people with the event so you want to be able to add the contacts and that's why you need the contacts description to this allows the app, app to see contacts see your contacts, you should probably add that okay and now I can actually start making it so first thing I'm going to do is embed in a navigation controller and then I'm just going to add a plus sign here as a bar button item so we can just make this image uh, plus like so and then we'll just link this up over here uh, add event button so now what we have to do is we have to import event kit import event kit and also event kit UI and we're also going to have to add a delegate here which is ek event edit view delegate uh, there so the reason we need this is this will actually um, be used later when we're creating the event store. Now we can create the event store up here and this is kind of just um, like where it stores the event. So ek event store like that and we don't actually have to do anything in the view did load. We're going to do all of it in this add event button. So what I can do is you're going to have to create a switch statement. Switch uh, ek event store dot authorization status so this is just to check if you have authorization uh, for dot event uh, and then case uh, case dot not determined so this is where we don't actually know what it is we'll have to uh, check if uh, we can get the grant the access so to do that we'll just have to uh, show after I finish the switch statement so case then the other case is authorized uh, and in this one this is actually finished uh, why is it not oh put this outside the switch statement wow I'm making a lot of mistakes today so this is inside of here let's just print not determined then let's create another case and this is dot authorized and in this one we can print authorize and finally we need the default case and we'll just break the switch statement there so default break okay so when it's not determined we need to get the uh, we need to get the authorization or permission so to do that we'll just create the um, event store uh, so we've already created it up here 
and now what we have to do is we just do event store dot request access to dot event completion um, granted oh, granted and then error in and then inside of here we can do if granted print uh, print authorize and if it's not then it's not authorized so now we actually have um, both authorizations methods so we have one over here and also one over here so well, what we can do now is we can create another function and this is just going to present the uh, view controller the event kit view controller so punk present event vc and inside of it we can create it let event vc is equal to ek event edit controller and this is why we have the delegate up here because now we can do event vc dot edit view delegate is equal to self event vc dot event store is equal to um, UK event store and we can create the event so this is the actual physical event UK event uh, set the event store to same one uh, we could use the one up here but I think it's just easier if we create one so it's fresh and yeah it should be the same thing anyway then event.title and you can just select the title so I'll just call this sample event and then event.startdate and this can just be the current date and then I'll just leave the end date out I mean I guess I could just end date equal date dot adding time interval but uh, I kind of forgotten how to do this uh, yeah I, I forgot how to do this because I think it's I think you can just add a few days but it's kind of weird so I'd rather just not do the uh, end date and then I'll just do it in the actual uh, event modifier and then let's just create the add this event to the actual event vc and finally let's present it so self dot present present event vc true and nil no. so now where it's authorized we can just run this function present event vc and present event vc and let's run this and oh, I think I have a few oh I have an error yeah I know what the error is um, that's all we need to do that but we also need to add the uh, protocol sub so that would just be did complete and did complete with action and when it's completed we just dismiss the um, controller so animated true completion nil now we shouldn't have any errors Okay, let's click this and let's allow it. And oh, what have I done wrong? Cool must be made on main thread. Uh, let's see what I did wrong here. So, event VC equals event edit. Uh, hmm, did I do? Must have made a mistake somewhere. Uh, Oh, I know what to do. I'll just move this into the actual button over here. I think that should uh, fix the problem. Like that. Since now it's on the same thread. And yeah, so now we can add this new event and it has all of these different things. So 
let's just add an end day uh, I'll just make it the same day and the time can be 4.15 you can add location, change if it's all day uh, travel time and there's also a bit where you add people but uh, I think it's add attachment and then well, it's definitely around it somewhere so yeah now let's click add event and if we go to the actual calendar app over here this is the sample event so this I created this event earlier today I'll just delete this but this is the event which we just created so in a future tutorial uh, I'll show you guys how to actually uh, edit the events like if you have a sample event here I could show you guys how to edit this and this actually means you're, you can actually um, like edit events uh, so you can actually create a calendar app yourself rather than using the primary calendar app but that might take a while and I don't really think it's worth it so yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial bye